Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. They treating you all right out here? Seem worse. Hey, Graham. Do I know you from somewhere? So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. The Inquisitor isn't a god. He's just a man trying to do the right thing. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Again. Again. Come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. Been a while since I needed it, but that nightmare demon was... <sighs> big. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? That nightmare wanted to tear you in half. Not a chance. Piece of fade, piece of crap. And who killed you? That's right! Iron fucking bull! I needed that. Thanks, boss. Didn't know you liked it that rough. Only from you, boss. <laughs> Only from you. You're doing good work, boss. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your Worship. 
I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. I can think of worse places to go with Chrysias. So can the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the Kuhn. They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Wait, are you? I didn't realize. You didn't. Well, great. Now we can all talk about it. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the Chargers. Or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Why aren't you with your clan? Our Keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip? Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. So, how'd you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or a chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know what's happened with those cards and loser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, Your Worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition. Joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. 
They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Canari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Ironball's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinta is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinta, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinta army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Ball? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of the bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent their up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. Nice one. Crap. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasrath think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it is. When the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys.
Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasra's reports from your Talvishov ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. The loss of the Ben Hasrath information will hurt. Can we smoke out some of your old contacts? They'll pool their people soon enough. But we might be able to identify the agents who replaced them. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. Nice work taking down those Venatori. Always easy with the Chief watching our backs, Your Worship. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sackmead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Full! I got it! He bossed the Sala Talvasov. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrat? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talvashoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You don't need to say Talva Shoth like it's an insult. This isn't about you, boss. But I'm Talva Shoth too, just like you. No, you're not. Not really. You grew up with a family. You never knew anything different. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the Kuhn. And now I'm one of them. Bullshit. You're a good man. Without the Kuhn to live by. Hey, you're a good man. If the Ben Hasrath don't see that, it's their loss. Thanks, boss. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. So, listen, I've caught the hints. I get what you're saying. You want to ride the bull. Can't say I blame you, but I'm not sure you know what you're asking. Not sure if you're ready for it. Oh, 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 I'm ready for it. See, you say that, but you really don't know what that means. Are we gonna do this or not? <sighs> Last chance. A little slower, and a lot harder.
Is the Inquisitor inside? I have some information that may be... No. Let him rest. What's going on, boss? We need to talk about what happened between us. Oh, that. Sure. What's on your mind? Nobody's ever done that to me before. I... enjoyed it. Of course you did. Ben Hasrath training, remember? Grew up learning to manipulate people. When it's a hostile target, you give them what they want. But when it's someone you care about, you give them what they need. I, uh... So if I agree, how does this... work? Outside this room, nothing changes. You're the Inquisitor. You're the boss. I will never hurt you without your permission. You will always be safe. If you're ever uncomfortable, if you ever want me to stop, you say Kato, and it's over. No questions asked. No questions asked? If you didn't trust me, you would have told me to leave. But you didn't. Take me. Can do. What can I do for you? I'd like to talk about you and me. Sure, boss. What's up? So, what is this? What are we doing? That's up to you, boss. If you want it light and casual, that's fine with me. How do Canari show that they're serious about a relationship? They don't. We don't have sex for love. But for someone we really care about, there is an old tradition. You find a dragon's tooth, break it in half, and you each wear a piece. Then, no matter how far apart life takes you, you're always together. You told me that this is what I needed. What did you mean by that? You're the Inquisitor. You didn't ask for the job, but you've taken on the responsibility. You've got thousands of lives riding on your decisions. You bear that weight all day. You need a place where you can be safe, knowing someone else is in charge for a bit. So, if this is a conscious decision for you, could you do something else if I wanted you to? What? Like now I'm the naive young farm boy and you're the ruthless inquisitor seducing the truth out of me? No. This is who we are. It'd be disrespectful to what you need to treat you any other way. If it doesn't work for you, though, I understand. No hard feelings. What about what you need? <laughs> I'm good. I'm better than good. <laughs> you don't need to trouble yourself on that front. Old Iron Bull is just fine. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. What can I do for you? I have something for you. Really? Well, I think I've got something for you, too. Come on, I'll go first. There we go. No Inquisition. No war. Nothing outside this room. Just you and me. So, what do you want to talk about? Sorry to disturb your rest, Inquisitor. But our fortif- uh, Oh, sweet maker. Cullen, how's it going? Is the Inquisitor awake? I thought perhaps we... Oh. This is actually, um... Yeah, um, well... I I'm so sorry. I cannot move my legs. Is something the matter? Oh! oh, for fuck's sake. Do you see this? No. So, I take it... <laughs> actually, he's the one who's been taking it. I apologize for interrupting what I assume was a momentary diversion. Uh, nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. Who wouldn't be a little curious?
This is more than just a momentary diversion, and Bull and I intend to continue. Is that a problem? No. Not at all. A surprise, I'll admit. But not a problem. We'll leave you be. Yes. Do enjoy yourselves. <sighs> you okay, boss? No. I didn't say Kato, but here you've stopped anyway. But since we have a moment... What's that? A dragon's tooth, split in two. So no matter how far apart life takes us, we're always together. Not often people surprise me, Kadan. Kadan? Kadan. My heart. Kadan. Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Um, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well... As much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here. Your turn. That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us? I know, right? Mm. Oh. <laughs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Kanari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more... ...dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But... ...a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See... <clears throat> ...the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe... drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So... ...they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. To dragons. <laughs> mm. To the iron bowl. And his ass-kicking Inquisitor. Hey, hey, Kadan, listen. I always want to say this, and I never can when we're off saving the world. You've got a fantastic ass. Ah. 
You got anything that needs killing? Because the nobles keep messing with me and they think I don't know they're doing it. This keeps up. I'm gonna wear somebody's skull as my fancy little mask. Any interest in a dance? <laughs> oh, shit. The nobles would love that. Can you imagine Josephine's face trying to explain that we were... Wait, were you serious? Because if so, then... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once we stop the assassins and all that. Look at this with the eyes of a Ben Hasra. And tell me what you see. It's a mess. Everyone's trying so hard to hide that they're walking around in plumage. Makes it tough to spot the dangerous lies, as opposed to the normal stuff. Oh, but that couple over there with the silver masks. The woman's doing one of the nobles, and the guy's doing two different servants. What do you think of the masks the nobles are wearing? They're no good as disguises, and they don't cover the mouth or hide body language. So they're not much help for lying. As fashion goes, I don't know. I've seen dumber. Anything catching your eye? They've got these candied nuts with some kind of spice on them. It's sweet until you swallow, and then... BAM! Hot! Uh, nothing on the assassins, though. Talk to you later, Paul. I'll just stay here and eat. They ran out of that cheese dip, asked for more, and they gave me this look. The assholes. How you doing? We achieved all our goals. I'm enjoying the moment of peace. Sounds like a plan. You'll get kicked in the teeth again soon enough. Hang on to the good stuff. Come on. The music's finally got enough of a beat to dance to. I'd love to. Good. They're out of food. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Kune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. You got away with words, boy. I do what I can. Maybe we can find some other uses for that mouth of yours. Yeah. When is the next meal, anyway? Orlesian food always leaves me hungry. Need anything, Kadan? I'd like to talk about you and me. Sure, boss. What's up? Those times you talked about passing time with the serving girls. Is this what you do to them? <laughs> the serving girls spend most of their day following orders and feeling unimportant. They need someone who makes them feel special. Let's them cut loose with no repercussions. I let them bounce on top and tell them their tits look nice. Everybody wins. I mean, I used to. Long as we're doing this, you've got my complete attention. See you later, Paul. Nice talking with you, boss. Kadan. <sighs> Damn, that was... Mm, that... Was good, Kadan. Are we done? I thought that was your warm up. All this time, and you've never said Kato. If I'd known you'd last this long, I'd have let you pick your own watchword. People choose their own watchwords? Normally, yes. It can be anything, so long as it's not something you'd ever shout by accident. Josephine might pick Madrigal, while Colin would go with Phylactery. As for Cassandra, it'd probably be something soft, like silk or satin. You're sure about that? Hey, Ben Hasra, remember? I've got everyone pegged. What about Varric? Wait, don't tell me. Bianca. <laughs> no, it would have to be something he wouldn't shout during sex. Maybe Paragon or Tig. Here's a tough one. Cole. 
You know, he stumped me. I actually asked him. He thought really hard about it, then finally said his watchword was stop. I don't think he got it. Probably for the best, honestly. How about Blackwall? Hmm. Petit arm. Get deep enough under that armor. There's a man who lived a good life once. What about Vivienne? Hmm. Tough one. I'm going with Periwinkle. She looks like a Periwinkle kind of lady. What about Sarah? Well, it wouldn't be shite or you'd never even get started. Honestly, though, Sarah's not the kind who lets you tie her down. If you want to make me use that watchword, you'll need to try harder. Good to know. I'm a better man for having met you, Kadan. I just hope this made things a little easier on your end. Not this. You made things easier on my end. I love you. <laughs> You're going soft on me, Kadan. I love you too. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. How was that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Good luck. Wherever you end up, they'll be lucky to have you. I think I'm good right here. For now. The best fights always seem to find you. If I left, I'd just get jealous hearing about all the great shit I was missing. Hey, Kadan. I know we talked, but you got a minute before you do your big thing. <laughs> you almost always last longer than a minute, Bull. <laughs> You've stood strong against everything. Never flinched. You are the toughest. Wisest, most beautiful person I've ever met, Kadan. And I can't tell you how proud I'm gonna be watching you out there, addressing the whole Inquisition. <sighs> With this big old love bite on your neck. <sighs> you ass. <laughs> <laughs> 